Ambassador from Australia has been active in combat sports since 1997. And just how highly thought of is he, Duke? In his debut, he's already ranked number five in the glory rankings. Oh, they've been wanting to bring him over here for a while. He's just an incredible fighter. Carnage says it all. This guy brings it. He, he is a power striker, explosive, and he has a very mean temperament in the ring. Always looking for a KO. His opponent recently beat three men in one night at Glory 9 New York and is one of the most sought after names in all of combat sports today. Here is Tyrone Spall. Twenty-eight-year-old King of the Ring, Tyrone Spawn, earning the moniker the Bo Jackson of combat sports. In addition to his kickboxing, he's also a mixed martial artist for the World Series of Fighting. And he told our Ron Crook earlier this week that he may want to fight as a professional boxer before the end of the year. He's a very impressive fighter. I've had the, the opportunity to train with him at a young age in Holland. He showed so much promise. He's matured into an incredible champion. Uh, also works with Miguel Cotto's former coach, Pedro Diaz. His pedigree in boxing is very high considering he doesn't have a lot of fights. Very, very impressive fighter. From Chicago's Sears Center Arena, this is Glory 11. Time for the headliner. And the tail of the tape brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. Tyrone Spong against Nathan Corbin, the sequel. And really almost mirror images of each other. A slight reach advantage for Spong. And of course, Corbin with that bitter taste in his mouth. Welcome back to Glory 11, Chicago, and time for the tail of the tape for our headliner, brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. It's Spong versus Corbett, the sequel. Corbett a few years older, but otherwise really almost mirror images of each other, a slight reach advantage for Spong, but Corbett wants to erase that bitter taste uh, from his mouth following their first meeting where really he and even Spong admits it should have been a TKO win for Corbett. All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He is a 10-time World Muay Thai champion who will make his glory debut tonight. His professional record, an impressive 57 wins with just three losses. Three quarters of those wins have come by knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at 210 and one half pounds, 95.5 kilos, representing Australia and rank number five in the world. Here is Nathan Carnage. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a two-time European champion and reigning light heavyweight glory tournament champion. His record equally impressive, 89 wins with just five losses, 59 big knockouts and undefeated in four previous glory appearances. He stands six feet, two inches, 1.88 meters, weighed in at an even 209 pounds, 94.8 kilograms, fighting tonight out of Suriname and rank number one in the world. Here is Tyrone, king of the ring, Spawn. The referee in charge of this bout is Chris Wagner. Nathan, Tyrone, right here. A gentleman will win all the rules in the dressing room. Want a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. I mean, that's how I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. 
Referee is Chris Wagner, Nathan Carnage Corbett. 57 and three with the one no contest that coming against Tyrone Spong, 45 wins inside the distance. Spong just 28, 89 and five with the one no contest, 59 wins inside the distance. The much anticipated rematch is underway here at Glory 11 Chicago. Spong in the white gloves, Corbett in the black. And a quick start here, Duke. Yeah, um, this is going to be a war. Two of the meanest, toughest strikers in the light heavyweight division. That was a nasty jab through the guard by Spong. Yeah, definitely his boxing's improved since their last outing. Knee to the body by Corbett. Push kick by Spong. Jab kick combination by Corbett. Two of the very best showcasing their wares here tonight. Not only is it a battle of two fighters, it's a battle of two styles. You got Nathan Corbett, who represents the huge Muay Thai community in Australia. They feel their method is the best. And you got Tyrone Spong, who represents the Dutch and their method There's of fighting. The sweep, which of course doesn't get you any points, but does draw reaction from the crowd. And Spong being worn by the referee, Chris Wagner. Spong has the black zillions in his corner, including UFC of veteran Rashad Evans. Spong, of course, as we mentioned, mixing things up with kickboxing and MMA and even talking about maybe dipping his toes into the sweet science before the end of the year. But now they exchange low kicks. Speaking of boxing, former uh, kickboxing and top contender Paul Briggs is working with Cobra, too. So a lot of good boxing people involved here in glory. A great hey, fight with Thomas Adam. Oh, man. In, in this town, too. Here in Chicago, that was a war. Now Corbett switching stances to Southpaw unleashes the left body kick that Spong avoided. Spong counters with a low kick. Blocks that right hand now in the clinch. Corbett swings wildly with the right. Sticks the jab. Nice combination by Corbett, but Spong recovers with a liver shot. One minute left in what has been a terrific start to this rematch. Another left hook to the body by Spong. Spong's physicality is the key here tonight. In the last fight, he just wasn't as physically strong. Tonight, you can see the improvement, not only with his boxing, but just with the, the, he's a little bit more mature and the, the muscle density he's put on and the added athletic prowess he has now. Just misses with the right cross. Just Spong. Corbett sticks the jab, right uppercut, but the counter left hook by Spong rattles Corbett. Spong goes to the body with the left hook. Corbett is one of the best guys I've ever seen that while he's rock, able to fight back. That's how he fought Tyrone, or, or fought Tyrone in the last fight. He's very durable. Final 10 seconds of this opening round. A great start to the rematch between Tyrone Spong and Nathan Carnage Corbett. So, Mr. Rufus, how do you see the opening round? Uh, the man with the crown, the king, gets it 10-9. Why? He, he, more effective striking. He caught him with those low kicks, landed the heavier combinations. There's Paul Briggs on the right, instructing uh, Nathan what to do. Corbett started practicing karate, which led him to shoe boxing and Muay Thai, turned pro in 97. We're going to see this left hand. They exchange left hands, but there is Tyrone with just a smaller arc on that punch, keeping that, that punch small and tight. He beat him to the punch and he torqued it and rocked him with that punch. Corbett, a 10 time world champion in Muay Thai. As we say hello to one of the Glory Girls, L. Where Corbett lives on the Gold Coast of Australia, there's like a, we call it Muay Thai Island out there. There's an, an incredible, healthy Muay Thai community and a lot of great fighters out there. And he's representing their style of fighting here. And obviously the great Dutch kickboxing. Second round begins. Spong in the white gloves, Corbett in the black and Corbett goes down here in the early stages of round two. In their first meeting, Spong also knocked Corbett down before Corbett came back to knock him down, and he thought he finished the fight, but 
Spong now with the advantage here in round two after dropping Corbett in the opening 30 seconds. Yeah, he's doing a good job of when, when, when Corbett throws a low kick, he's countering with his own hook. Uh, his timing's impeccable. And now Spong just manhandling Corbett, pushing him to the corner. Corbett on the ropes. Nathan. Double jab, counter low kick by Spong in the left hook, drops Corbett for the second time in the round. What a shot! And it is over! Tyrone Spong, the king of the ring, defeats Nathan Carnage Corbett in the rematch. Pride never die, my man, as of course, Corbett, though, seemed to have his faculties and seems to be taking umbrage with the referee's decision to stop the fight. But we will get the official announcement when we return. You're watching Glory 11 Chicago. Don't go anywhere. You're a former professional kickboxer, and again, I've been very outspoken, and I think anyone who cares about combat sports lives by the motto, you'd rather see a fight stop one punch too soon than one punch or strike too late. Do you agree with the stoppage? Yeah, uh, Nathan didn't put his hands up. I mean, to his credit, his heart, he wanted to go out on his shield, but when a fighter doesn't put his hands up, you got to stop the fight. You know, he, he had his hands at his waist, and he looked a little glazed over there. Uh, I, I agree with the decision, uh, you know, Look at him time right off that low kick. A great hook return. Again, he, he was baiting him. He'd let him throw this combo, load the shoulder up while he was receiving the low kick to give the punch. That, that's that's almost a sacrifice fly of uh, fighting. You'll take the low kick to give that hook. Good twisting jab. He created so much impact on that punch. There, just good counter fighting. And he, again, here's the second knockdown. He's, he, he comes off of his own low kick. And right around the guard, button hooks, a little tight, sweet hook, a la Miguel Cotto style, right around the guard, and to make it, that's all she wrote. Beautiful hook. Again, he didn't get wide outside his shoulders, he just button hooked it around, and that's why it was able to land inside the guard. Great sportsmanship by both of these guys. Class acts. That's what we have here at Glory. Not only great fighters, but great people and great martial artists. Great role models for everyone out there. Spong won the Glory 95 Kilo Slam Championship in New York earlier this year. And now defeats Nathan Carnage Corbett in their much anticipated rematch and does so in spectacular fashion. Tyrone proudly has the flag of Suriname draped over him. He's proud of his heritage and his roots. A lot of great kickboxers come from Suriname. The great Ernesto Hoost, as well as a proud person from Suriname. A great heritage of fighters there. We've got a great worldwide culture of fighters here in kickboxing. Spong started kickboxing at the age of 13. Now at 28, he is the number one ranked light heavyweight. And he holds on to that ranking here in glory. So we are back at Glory 11 Chicago. Let's go to Tim Hughes to make it official here in this headliner. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Chris Wagner stops this contest at one minute, 10 seconds of the second round. It is a technical knockout victory for your winner, Tyrone Spall. Tyrone Spong. Improving to 5-0 and here in glory. Let's go to Ron Crook. Tyrone Spong, four years ago, you fought to a controversial no contest against Nathan Corbett. How does it feel to settle the score tonight? 
Oh, of course, it feels good for me, you know, personally, but um, I told Nathan already, you know, there was some bad blood, but it's uh, some misunderstanding. You know, I was a young kid back then when I fought him. And, uh, you know, when you have to do some certain things for the promotion, I had a big mouth, so that was my punishment. I broke my hand very bad and he knocked me out. And, um, you know, but he's a, he's a great warrior, really, one of the strongest I ever fought. You told me you want to be known as the Bo Jackson of combat sports. You, you do MMA, you do kickboxing, and now you're thinking about boxing. How do you think you're going to end the year? Will you be back in kickboxing, boxing, or MMA? Boxing. I'm going to finish it up with boxing this year. There you go, folks. Give it up for the king of the ring, Tyrone Spong. Tyrone Spong improving to 5-0 and oh here in glory and now has his sights set on the sweet science. Hey, why not? We are just ready now for the final of the Glory 11 Chicago Glory Heavyweight Tournament. Rico Verhoeven who shocked Gokan Saki, defeating the tournament favorite in the one semifinal. He will face the Savage Samurai, Daniel Gita, when we return.